Hi everyone, welcome to Excel Highway, your one-stop shop for all your Excel needs. Today I want to share with you a very nice file that's supposed to help you generate random names. This is very helpful. I've used this many times if I want to create some sort of fake database and I just need to generate, you know, sample names. So you could just start typing, you know, Joe Smith. David, Blaine, I don't know, names, right? So this could take a long time. Or you could use this file or build your own version, which actually generates uh, names. So this sheet is very basic. There's, sorry, this file is very basic. You have two sheets, the name generator, which has most of the functionality, and name database, which has just a few parameter setups. I'll just show you the, the functionality and then I'll get into the details of how it's done. So you have to decide how many names you want, a number between 1 to 100. Of course you can change that later on if you need more names. And you need to decide whether or not the gender is male, female, or both. You can take both. And then you just have to click the button and you get this pop-up message when it's completed, 20 names generated. And you can see, or maybe you can't see, but the names are unique. So you will not have two full names that look the same. <clears throat> Let's start to show you how it's done. Here in the name database, I have two tables, first name and the gender. And here is a formula to um, basically uh, count the number of names. And same thing for the last name, it just uses um, the row, okay, since uh, I just, there's no uh, uh, filtering. Here I only want to add a number if it matches the gender. So in case both, it's, it's just, it's the same number, but if I select here male, for example, then every name that's a female will not jump the index or the counter so because I'm going to use that later on to pull the names okay so this is the formula and you can just add someone uh, let's say Steve male okay and it's nice it's a table so you have this one just the formula just pops up um, and of course you can just take it out if you want make all the adjustments here in the gender I have two three options male female or both so this is the setup, very basic, very simple. You can just amend the names, add more names, whatever you want. This is unlimited. If you, uh, if you enjoyed this video or any other video that I've posted, please uh, make sure you subscribe because I'm posting regularly content. Hit the like button, leave a comment if you want. Um, engage. <laughs> so how does everything happen? So you see there are a lot of hidden, hidden cells here, so I'm going to unhide them. That's how you're gonna see where the magic is. And the reason I'm hiding it just so it's visually more appealing. So there's a VBA code with when the button is pressed and we'll get to that. But before, let's take a look at the formulas. So basically the formulas are over here on these columns. This is the, these two cells are the maximum number of names or options. In this case, we have eight male names, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. And we have 11 last names. That's not going to change based on your selection. But if I select female, I'll have 6 names. And if I select both, I'll have 14 names. So these are, these are the number of op options I've had. Now you notice that these two cells, the random, are change every time. See? They change every time. Okay, so here there's just a random between 1 and the maximum, giving me um, a random number. This is a um, check if there's a duplicate, okay? It just counts the number of full names that exist, okay? Eventually, as the, as the code completes, you're only going to see one. This cell counts the number of situation where there is more than one line and this is going to be used in the macro this is a counter for the name 
uh, basically it looks a bit complicated but eventually what it does it just adds a number um, based on the last num uh, number of names that you want eventually when you reach uh, the last number it just shows you a blank so I don't want to get too into the, the formula basically I've added just an if for the second row so it doesn't affect the numbering and then it just looks at the max if the max is equal to this number then uh, you're done if not just add another number and here um, if it's a number then I'm looking I'm just V look upping this number for the name right and this number for the last name and why I'm using if number because otherwise if I don't then a, it will just show me as an NA and I want the table to look clean so those are first name last name full name is just the combination of the both and that's it and now I'll show you the code itself what it does basically what the code does it takes this um, the formula line copies it all the way down to row 107 which is the last one that's why by the way I have here in the data validation I want it to be a whole number between 1 and 100 because if you input here 101 it won't work but of course if you want to um, have more cells then you can do that more rows if you want 200 or 500 names it's a simple matter of changing a bit the code and it will work but just for speed purposes I didn't want to do that so the way it works it copies that first row uh, and basically generates like this it generates names now you see already that there are people here that are Martin Silverman and Martin Roberts appears already in the list and I don't want to have duplicates so what I do is the next step it it pastes everything here by value so the um, the uh, you know randomness stops and then I circle through the counters I loop through all the names that appear and I change those numbers basically I copy this again until this number is one meaning I'm randomizing until that specific line is unique and then I just continue let me show you the code once I'm done with that the loop is finished and I get that pop-up message so it's a very simple code but effective one here I'm um, you know declaring the uh, the uh, parameters I have formula row last row the worksheet I is integer number of lines last column and first row it's pretty intuitive application screen updating false that's so the macro runs quicker I'm setting up the uh, sheets as name generator I like to use referencing worksheets I think it's it's better uh, coding if you change things then you just have to change it here and then everything else will work so I'm defining the last column to be seven the first row to be seven right seven is the first row seven is the last column a number of lines is a hundred here's what I meant that if you want to generate more then you just need to change this uh, uh, row then the last row is going to be the first row plus the number of lines the formula row is number two this one okay so far very clear this is how you set up the first list I'm using with again you don't have to do that but if, if in the future you reference this from another sheet this will be helpful so with WS first of all I'm gonna clean out the list okay it's very simple um, then I'm gonna copy so I'm gonna copy from formula row which is number two from column one to formula row number two last column basically this line says copy this row then I'm gonna paste it all the way down to the last row and then I'm gonna take the the entire table below and paste by value okay so it's just gonna copy this entire row and paste it by value in the same location basically freezing um, the uh, randomness then I'm gonna change the duplicate names this is the, let's say the tricky part so I have here two loops one is a four one is a do while so for I equals first row through last row basically I'm walking I'm going row by row right and 
I'm checking do while cells I3, meaning this column. So while this number is greater than 1, okay, I'm just going to copy the uh, same, uh, same process. I'm going to take this line, copy it to that line, and um, and just it will just continue until it's it until it's, until it's equal to one. Once it's equal to one, it's going to continue the four. So you have two loops here, basically going one by one, eventually um, clearing it out. Now, of course, if you want like 300 rows, you better have more names because the multiple of these two tables is the number of possible unique names. So make sure that if you do that uh, to add more names, otherwise the loop will be endless. All right, what's that? Once that done, once that's done, I'm using this to take out the um, at lines, application cut mode false, and bring you back the screen updating. Um, so you're back to normal, and then there's a message box with the number of names, right? The value in E3. All right, and this message, so um, very nice and clear. Let's really quickly just walk you through um, one iteration so you see how it works. Okay, so first of all, let me just So first of all, this is clearing the the entire section, so you see it's clear. Then I'm copying this line all the way down. Right? See? All the way to 107. Okay. Then I'm copying that as a value. So for now it's not going to change. So immediately you see that for example line number 10, we're we're probably going to go into the uh uh, jump into it okay all right you see I is 10 so we're at row number 10 and the value here is greater than 1 so it's inside the do while so what it will do it will just take again that row copy it over here and now you see it's 1 so we can end we can um, we're out of the do while and now we're at row 13, and this happens again. And it will not, it will continue until the last one is let me just take those out. So we stop. Okay, and you get that pop-up message. So that was a very um, um, thorough explanation of how to build this. And as I mentioned, there are a few parameters here that you need to set up and build it as your own. Mainly, you, need, you can change the names here and uh, add more or uh, change and the number of names you can change. And um, in the code itself, you can set up how many, what is the maximum number of lines. So just make sure uh, that you change that if you um, want more more, uh, more names. Uh, really recommend to hide all of these just so it looks a bit nicer, especially if you're sharing it with anyone. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, um, please subscribe to the channel as I'm posting new content all the time. Hit that like button, leave a comment if you want. Um, and I'll be happy to share the file with you. Take care.